Picture this, one country wants to attack and take down a major city, but it doesn't want its troops to get bogged down by door-to-door -door fighting. Instead, it sends in thousands of small drones with simple instructions, shoot everyone with a weapon. A few hours later, the city has been raised down. It's safe for the invaders to enter. Sounds a bit like science fiction, right? But today, we have the technology to implement this. With deep advances in facial recognition, machine learning and powerful decision-making algorithms, it is technologically straightforward to build robots that can make decisions with whom to target and kill without a human in the loop. Hello and welcome to Tech at Work. It's a gory topic that we're discussing today. We're talking about how AI has changed and can change the face of modern warfare. War is terrible. War is horrific. But it has often played a pivotal role in advancing technology and the Russia-Ukraine conflict may just prove to be the advancing ground for autonomous warfare. What we're talking about are lethal autonomous weapon systems or killer bots, which according to the United Nations are weapons that can locate engage and select targets without human supervision. This takes the form of AI-powered drones, not your humanoid robots, which are difficult to maneuver. Now, the AI-powered drones are not the typical drones that we use. Drones are already in military use. It was used in the wars in Syria, Afghanistan, and even in the Russia-Ukraine. Ukraine is using drones to their great advantage. But these still require human input to spot and engage target. The final decision rests with the human. But a Russian suicide drone has been spotted in various images on Twitter and Telegram in recent days. And this boasts of the ability to identify targets using artificial intelligence. They were identified as a type of lethal drone called loitering munitions sold by Zala Aero, a subsidiary of the Russian arms company, as per reports by various international publications. Now, whether it's been used by Russia, we don't know. But a notion that a killer robot, which has the technology to decide for itself, who can decide who to kill is here according to experts. That's one worry, right? But the problem is that a fully autonomous weapon also ushers in moral as well as ethical dilemmas. Let's talk about it. Proponents of killer bots believe that if autonomous weapons are accurate, more precise and kill only their intended target, it may mean less death, less casualty, both for the military deploying them and the civilians caught in the crossfire. It may also mean removing the psychological and emotional burden of death from more people. Countries like US, and Russia, UK, Israel, Australia are all against banning autonomous weaponry. But the opponents question, is it really okay for a machine to make a life and death decision in war? Can we say with 100% guarantee that AI will not make a mistake? Because if it does, the consequences will be deadly. Is it really unrealistic to expect that a machine will not suffer one of those weird errors AI often makes? Compounding the problem is AI lethal weapons are small, cheap and easily manufactured. With no checks, they could be as ubiquitous as automatic rifles in private hands. AI is already used in the battlefield, beyond the battlefield. We have deep fakes, misinformation which is related to war. But now, AI is making its way to the battlefield with increased sophistication and that brings with itself its own ethical and moral dilemmas.